Hey guys, welcome to my video. Uh, so tonight, this is a old charger I made. I have a 48 volt um, electric dirt bike that I converted uh, back in 2001. So this was a charger I made, I don't know, probably 15 years ago. And um, I just kind of redid it. I put a um, new power supply on it instead of the transformer. And then uh, I made a new control circuit. Um, this was one of the older ones. And um, so, what this does basically is you have your 12 volt power supply come in, goes to the capacitor, and then this is a big oscillator coil back here, and then it has it has three transistor circuit with the neon bulbs and everything like that. So um, it's a forced oscillator, and what's neat about that is it's only a 12 volt supply, but um, we're charging 48 volts of batteries, so. My motorcycle is 48 volts and um, that I use at the farm. So I made this as an alternative because this is really neat because you could plug in a solar panel right here, you know, a 12 volt solar panel, and then the oscillator boosts the voltage up. And um, yeah, it's really neat. This has a, a simple Zinger trigger right here. And you could switch this out. This is for 60 volts. So when this control circuit gets to 60 volts, it um, shuts itself off and this is how you turn it on it just has a little switch with the uh, solenoid so you turn it on and then when it's charged it turns itself off so this actuates uh, a relay that turns the system on and um, it's really neat though because the oscillator you know with 12 volt input you could do 12 volt battery 24 36 48 you know whatever you want to do you just set the zinger to that voltage and um, yeah, this is a neat little hand-built charger. So um, you turn it on and then there's a little fan back here that turns on to help cool the, the transistors. And then we just pull this out and it starts up. These batteries are, are already charged. Um, I was just using this to test. The batteries on my motorcycle are um, 24 amp hour at 48 volts. So, so when this gets all the way done, what happens is this little LED light starts coming on on the inside and um, it's right right before there we go so the green light comes on and then it turns itself off so yeah pretty cool so you just pull it out So the other thing that's neat is um, usually with an oscillator, when you disconnect the battery, you, you pretty much destroy the, the transistors. So with this system, as soon as you disconnect the battery, it latches off. So your transistors don't get damaged if you forget to plug it in or anything like that. And then you simply just pull it back on. So it's really fast with this. I mean. As soon as I pull it, <laughs> so pretty neat. But yeah, this was designed for 48 volts. But you know, these oscillators are really cool. If you make a control circuit, something simple like that, you could charge whatever batteries you want. Um, I just set this up mechanically because it was kind of a really easy way to do it, to where it turns off the oscillator, but then um, the fan stays on to make sure everything gets cooled down after it's charged. Um, and then, like I said, I had a regular transformer in here, and um, it just, over the age, just got destroyed. But um, I was able to um, hook this up to a solar panel, and I could hook it up to a 12-volt battery, and I could charge the 48-volt motorcycle. So, pretty neat. So, thanks for watching.